pausing only to pick up some backup hats and become more visibly sweaty, we head to the harbour. I've gone for a yacht rock look. Mike, you guys ready to go? Yes, thank you. Skipper Mike takes visitors on a 90-min motor around Miami, but, and I feel it's my duty to warn you in advance, he does sometimes use the word sexy. And with these head turns, who the heck can blame the guy? So where are we now, Mike? This is downtown Miami. This is the sexiest place on the planet. People come here to have a good time and let loose and have fun. Sounds like hell. Miami's deep water harbor stations many of the world's utterly pointless yachts. If I wanted to put an offer in for this boat, what would I have to start the bidding at? Pretty safely be over $100 million. $100 million. Owners of yachts like that actually pay around $50,000 per night to be parked there. 50 grand a night parking. That is galling. Can you do that by text or do you have to have the change? Our thought stomachs duly fed, we throttle on to check some of the land-based excess on one of Miami's multitude of man-made islands. And I use the word people twice in a sentence. Are people happy with people just looking into their houses from the vantage point of a boat? You buy a house on an island, it's called Star Island. Yes. People are probably going to be coming by your house. I, to be honest, I feel like they're invading our privacy. I feel a bit observed here. Yeah? This is the biggest property on Star Island. Each one of these palm trees costs $10,000. Shut the no. door. These are South African date palms. They all stopped growing at the same height. He wanted this effect. You're out of he your mind. He paid 10 grand to get palm trees that grow to the same height. But you could cut them all uniform. Whose house is this, Mike? This white one used to belong to Julio Iglesias. Look at the state of those palm trees. Sort your palm trees out, mate. I'm embarrassed for you. This is the house of P. Diddy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's normally when the cushions are out right here. That's how we know that Diddy's in town. Did he put the cushions out? Was that Diddy asking somebody else to put the cushions out? Did, did, did Diddy done it, or was it somebody else that done it, and then Diddy thanked him for it? I can see you in a house like that. Yes. Breaking in. Yeah. Trying to take what I can under cover of night. <laughs> But before we have the chance to contact a bag man, hunger forces us ashore. Joe's, second most profitable independent restaurant in America. 36.8 mil in 2016. Wow. Billy Joel's eaten here. Let's do the same. Joe's is a Miami mainstay and a statistician solace. This is nice, nice and vibey. And this monument to munch is built upon one dish the claws of the locally caught stone crab. We get the crab, we remove both claws from the crab. We throw the crab back into the ocean. It's able to regenerate within 18 months. <laughs> they don't regenerate. Really. They do. But you've just yeah. got your claws back, 18 months, you get caught again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 18 ruddy months to get this thing back. <laughs> ruddy Joe. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> Sadly, the sparky impro was brutally truncated by a slab of slaw. This is even better than the one at Pizza Hut. As an impenetrable barrier to grease is tied around my bulging torso, the bant flows like ginger ale. When was the last time you wore a bib? This morning. My teeth bib. There's too much of a social stigma against bibs. These are normal, sensible precautions, but a lot of people are too shy to take them. Oh, I picked this up. You pick Manually. This up with your hands. Mano to mano. I'm taking this off. And then you wiggle. Oh, it's tough. Yes. Oh, perfect. You got it. A crab me lollipop. Cheers. Close? Quite close. Excellent. Your eyes lit up in a way that they really they genuinely enjoyed that. That's excellent. Sauce. In. Oh. There's the eyes. There's the eyes. Cheeky. I'm going in again. Ooh. It is again. It's continually surprising. I've never experienced sea meat like this. If I had arms this tasty, I'd regenerate them as well. You're surprised they don't eat themselves. Like the trash we are, we begin our undignified demolition. <laughs> so far, we've never been fed. We're eating like a scene out of Brewster's Millions when it's just one. <laughs> this is free. <laughs> I've never been so utterly consumed by a meal. Who's consuming who? It's unbelievable. Wow. Mm. We now know why Billy Joel wrote all those up-tempo songs. How was the meal? I'm very happy. It's amazing. And he's never happy? Yeah. 
and I can barely make it through life. Untie me, Orlando, untie me. Yeah. If I could kiss you without an incident, I would. Go for it. Okay. It was a pleasure. Thank you.